played with a lot of players in my life, but never did I have like pictures of them up on my walls up until this point. And I think my mom actually showed you them at one point when we went to Rochester. But, you know, it's always a nerve wracking thing walking into uh, an environment that's unknown. But I think that if you show that you're, you're going to be working hard uh, to try to learn as much as you can. And I, I think I did that. Um, we were able to really develop a great dynamic and a great chemistry that I thought, you know, it helped us get far in the WSA. and. Um, obviously it helped me get my, a spot on the national team. Well, I, I know for me, just being on the national team, um, we always had a really strong kind of target player. And, and that complemented my game because I was more of a slasher getting behind defenses, running at players. Um, so I remember the first time my conversation with her was two things. Was in the midfield third, you're just trying to maintain possession. That's it. You're not trying to play make just trying to hold the ball for us to get up. And then up front is stay high as possible, you know, because that, that creates, um, it puts her in a more dangerous position. It just opened up space for so many more people and it drew attention to her, um, you know, and, and I think, you know, to be honest with you, where I was in my career, those, those injuries and kind of where I was mentally, because um, the whole league was new for all of us. You know, the, the leadership on our team um, was used to having to solve those problems. And now I was put in that position. And it, you know, when you're dealing with injuries, you're, you're kind of, uh, your, your self-confidence takes hits. And I just remember with, with Abby being there, um, it really re-energized me because not only from her, uh, enthusiasm and excitement to play, um, but also the type of player what she she is, she was um, fearless, you know, committed to winning. And without me saying it to the rest of the team, here's someone that embodied that out on the field and would do absolutely every, anything to help us win, you know, sacrificing her body. I mean, I remember I'd throw balls in there and I said, just get to the spot. And Lord knows a collision was most likely going to happen, but she didn't flinch, you know, and um, that that just helped take a lot of pressure off of me and and help create a better environment for our team. What's really cool, and not many people know this about Mia, is she's so analytical about the game and she knows it so well and she's so good at talking about it. And I'm the opposite. I'm really good at understanding things, but I wouldn't be able to tell you really how to do something. She would be able to to sh to slow down the moment. And, and completely explain it through her words. And I don't know, I just appreciate, appreciated that because I'm willing to run through a brick wall if, if you know, Mia Hamm is telling you this is how you have to do and what you have to do to win, I would have done it.